Welcome to Blueprints Unsealed, a series of reflections and thought depicting the life and times of society's most influential people, ideas, and culture. Today we passed the one year anniversary since the collapse of the Arecibo Observatory, which housed one of the largest telescopes in the world. The collapse was not only a sad day for astronomers, but it also sent shockwaves throughout the scientific community and had conspiracy channels buzzing with all types of theories. At first glance, the collapse of the Arecibo Observatory appears to be normal wear and tear, brought on by decades worth of decay and abandonment. However, after doing some research, a deeper revelation dawns. Everything surrounding this situation is not what it appears. From its inception to its daily activities, right down to the timing of the collapse, is shrouded in secrecy and much confusion. Join in today as we decipher the true motives of this observatory and find out what really happened. At the heart of every scientific exploration, power hangs on a delicate balance. Time and time again, we have seen nations prioritize innovation that would yield military results over increasing the intellect of their citizens, and the origins of the Arecibo Observatory was no exception. The purpose of the observatory was conceived in the 1950s, during the early stages of the Cold War era, and actually built between 1960 and 1963. The U.S. Department of Defense was focused on defending the nation against the threat of inbound nuclear warheads. The plan was to build the observatory to act as a radar to detect changes in Earth's ionosphere that would signify that a nuclear weapon had been launched. Of course, this type of project would need to remain top secret, and therefore, a general purpose scientific observatory was also built to conceal the primary objective of the secret weapon. What made Arecibo unique was that it was able to successfully differentiate between a decoy and that of an actual deadly missile, which would enable U.S. defenses to shoot it down. The telescope was able to detect radio signals and capable of transmitting them as well. These transmitted signals were beamed out to space in radar mode and then bounce back to Earth when they hit something reflective. It then mapped the shapes and tracked the orbits of planets, asteroids, and comets. But wait, there's something else that the telescope can, can detect, and that's the presence of extraterrestrials. In 1974, the Arecibo Telescope was the first to transmit on purpose a radio message to ETs. The message was transmitted to Messier 13, a crowded cluster of stars in our Milky Way galaxy presumed to be orbited by planets that might host intelligent life. Also because of the telescope's enormous size, it was able to pick up some of the most strangest and furthest radio signals from the cosmos. That has only occurred a handful of times. Scientists has designated these signals as fast radio bursts that last in just a fraction of a second with no known origin. Although there has been much debate as to what is causing the signal, there seems to be a consensus that the signals may not be from our own Milky Way galaxy. So here is where it gets interesting. We only started receiving signals from deep space only after we started sending them. And if you think that these are just echoes, you would be wrong. One notable signal was picked up from a small red star just 11 light years away. Radio waves emanate from space regularly but this particular signal was structured in a way unheard of from a star. Solar flares can produce radio signals, but this particular frequency looks much lower than one historically observed in flares. The signal is unprecedented, but could it be aliens? The possibility hasn't been entirely ruled out. However, with that said, scientists in the public sector don't really like to invoke the presence of aliens because for some reason, they feel that an actual, more logic explanation is warranted. It's kind of ironic when you think about it, because let's say that our messages are intercepted in the far distance of the galaxy by intelligent life, and imagine if they dismiss our messages in favor for something more natural in nature. What a shame that would be. Some people find it strange that the observatory telescope was damaged and shut down by a single cable accident even though the other cables should have been more than capable of maintaining the weight of the telescope with ease. 
and this happened to coincide when a monstrous asteroid happened to whiz by Earth. People are wondering if it was sabotage to prevent it from detecting that the asteroid was actually a UFO. According to researchers, the telescope was built and successfully was able to sustain some of the most powerful hurricanes, tropical storms, and earthquakes, coupled with the idea that this telescope was constantly monitored and maintained and has never had an accident of this kind. Even during high storm winds, including Hurricane Maria, that devastated Puerto Rico back in 2017. According to NASA officials, the asteroid was one of the biggest that came close to Earth and was not detected until after six hours after it passed Earth. NASA was able to take a low resolution image of the asteroid, but the speculation is that the Arecibo would have produced a much higher quality image of the object, perhaps revealing its true nature. Turns out that the Arecibo Observatory collapsed just days before it approached. Perhaps the US government didn't want the public to panic and decided to abort the Arecibo Observatory. But what do you make of this? A telescope could be a powerful tool. It can reveal hidden galaxies, nebula, and even anomalies we can't explain. In the past, the invention of the telescope provided a significant advantage on the battlefield. In war, Generals could see the other side approaching from miles away, robbing their opponents from using the element of surprise. Today, telescopes remain a high priority in the arsenal of any powerful nation. Astronomers use telescopes to explore the universe, while the military uses them on satellites to spy on other nations. NASA spends a significant amount of its budget on telescopes and spends even more on maintaining them. The military expenditures on telescopes exceeds NASA's total budget by far. So, I don't think for a second that any of this was happenstance. There's just too many variables at play here. The Arecibo Observatory was a marvel and an important tool that was accessible to the public at large. Perhaps the most interesting aspect about telescopes that is both profound and metaphoric is that when it comes to stars, the telescope doesn't provide a larger view. It actually magnifies the brightness of the star, bringing more stars to it, thereby providing a clearer view which allows you to see the bigger picture. Thanks for watching. Please consider supporting the channel by hitting the like button and subscribing.